by complete graphs. The complete graph is a graph with edges connecting all pairs of vertices. The complete graph with n vertices is given by k with a little n. So here we go, this one here is k of 3. It's a complete graph that has three vertices, k, k of 3. This next one over here, there are four vertices, 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's known as k of 4. It's a planar graph as well, these two. This other one underneath is not a planar graph. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vertices here, so it's k of 5, but it's not a planar graph. We might be able to draw it as a planar graph, and that means getting rid of the lines that cross over. We might be able to draw those lines on the outside where they don't cross anywhere else. So here, because they're crossing over, it's not planar. Mm. Right, the complete graph with n vertices, k of n, has, and there's rule, n, and then in brackets, n minus 1 divided by 2 edges. Now remember, n is the number of vertices. So for the example, for k of 4, this one here, k of 4, there were 4, four vertices. vertices. So we've got 4 times 4 minus 1 divided by 2, and when we work that out, we have 6 edges. And you can see that there are 6 edges there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For the other one, k of 5, then we have 5 times 5 minus 1 divided by 2, which means we can have 10 edges. We can represent this as a matrix if we want to. We won't count those 10 edges. It's just uh, yeah, it's it starts getting confused. But we, we will be working on matrices later in the Yeah, we so. will be doing matrices soon. And here are your questions. Thank you.